Hello, Taurus. This is he versus them for the 9th or the 17th. This reading is for my Taurus friends. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. And you are here with Pinky Ari and Jim. I feel like there's a need to say that since so somebody stole my freaking video. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here we go. Let's see how you guys felt about this person in the relationship. How did Taurus feel about this person? Ace of Swords. You felt like you knew them. You felt like it was a new start, that it was something that was really going to lead to something um, very good for you. Okay? You felt victory in meeting this person, getting with this person, being with this person. Okay? You felt like it was true. It was right. This is not a cup, though. This is a sword. So, it's like, um, I think you gave this a lot of thought. You let your head kind of make the decision when it came to this person versus your heart. But you thought it was good nonetheless. <laughs> Let's see. How did they feel about you in the relationship? How did they feel? Eight of Cups. Mm. This person felt drained. Piscean energy. They felt really drained by the relationship. Why is that? Let's see. What's currently going on for my Taurus friends? What's currently going on for Taurus? The star. Healing. I think you still have hope here in this situation though. This is Aquarius energy. You still have hope that what you initially thought about this still holds true. Hmm. We have Aquarius, we have Pisces energy here. What was draining them? Let's see what their current situation is. What is their current situation? King of Swords. I feel like this is a more emotional person, usually. They usually wear their heart on their sleeve, but at this point, they have um, grown a little cold, grown a little reserved. They're actually um, not coming from an emotional standpoint right now. This person is using their head over their heart. They come across as aloof, non-caring at this point, very in control of themselves. I feel like they, um, this person feels like they've lost control at some point with you. This is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Taurus? What is the influence for Taurus? Two of Pentacles. Huh. There's something that you're weighing. Um, you're not really sure about it. A lot of you guys feel like this person is your soulmate. But right now, let me rephrase that. You think this is your soulmate, but something's not allowing you to fully believe that this is your soulmate. This is Capricorn energy because you're... Um, uh, your logical mind is wanting to take over here. So you're very, you're on the fence about, you know, what to do. I think you have a lot going on right now. And um, some of you don't have a lot going on, but you are throwing yourselves into other things to not really focus on this relationship with this person. What's influencing them? What's influencing them? Five of coins. This person's hurt. They feel rejected. They feel like you guys left them. Um, I feel like they do want you to feel hurt. I don't know what happened here. But I feel like this person wants to see you again. They, they want to have another chance at something. 
I don't know whether this is like to have a conversation to talk about things, what happened between the two of you, but I think they are definitely uh, wanting that, although they have kind of shut down some here. But um, they're, they're hurt right now, and that's the reason why they're coming here as a king of swords. This energy, this air energy, this person does not have to be an air sign. Let me just say that. They could be a water sign. They could be a fire sign. But the way that they are right now, how they're presenting themselves, they have a lot of air energy because they're like, their heart chakra is blocked right now is the thing. Okay. Let's see. What's coming in for Taurus? King of Swords. King of Swords. Now, I see this person and I see you kind of like mirroring each other. I think both of you were hurt in this relationship for different reasons. I feel like maybe both of you wanted control. Um, and, you know, relationships are not all about control, but I feel like both of you wanted control in the relationship. And that is where you butted heads a lot. Uh, I do feel like this person is here for you. But they are not going to make a move is a thing. If that's what you guys are waiting on, I don't see this person um, opening up that much to make a move towards you. If that's what you're waiting on. I feel like both of you are mirroring each other here. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for them? Four coins. Keep them to themselves. Keep them to themselves. I feel like there was a lot of instability with them. And they're just getting to a point where um, they're comfortable not really sharing themselves, not giving of themselves here. The Four of Coins is about reserving your energy so you don't feel depleted. This is when somebody feels like they've overextended. So I'm getting that this person at one time felt like they overextended themselves. They gave too much of themselves. So now, instead of being at this extreme where they overextended, they're over here where they're not giving shit. <laughs> they're like, fuck it. You know, which is not the best way to be, but that's how a lot of people um, deal with things when they're hurt. Not saying that you guys weren't hurt, because I see that um, you feel like this person is your soulmate. So I'm not sure what happened here. I can't see exactly what happened here, but I definitely get that they were hurt for a while and they were holding on to something, and they're still holding on to the fact that they felt rejected. They felt hurt. They felt like they were left in the cold by you. <clears throat> Ooh. Let's see. What can Taurus expect from this situation? The tower. Mm. For shit to come crumbling down. I feel like there's something that's going to hit the fan with you guys here. There's something that's going to hit the fucking fan with you. Because there's something that's going on that you guys really can't see. But it's not working for you. It's not working for you. If you are still with this person, for some of you, I see a breakup. Because there's a definite disconnect between the two of you. This is Scorpio energy here with the tower. There is a disconnect and um, there is a parting of ways here. There is argument and a parting of ways. Because I feel like um, your emotions, both of you, your emotions are not here. And you need that. For those of you who are not with this person, which is the majority of you, I feel like this is at some point you guys... Um, meeting with this person or talking with this person and then 
uh, an argument ensues. Hmm. The why. Let's see. What can this person expect? Maybe this will give some answers. What can this person expect? Two of Swords. Libra energy. I feel like you guys are getting frustrated actually. Because there this person's not giving a reaction one way or the other. And I feel like for some of you, you just want to see something. Because I think as of right now, it's, it's been crickets. I don't feel like there's been conversation. So I feel like some of you just want to do anything. I mean, if we got to argue, let's argue. But, you know, let's talk. Let's break this silence. Let's do something different than what we've been doing is what I'm getting here. Because I feel this person just sitting in their thoughts and basically just not doing anything because I feel them feeling very hurt and feeling like they're not doing shit else. They're not allowing anyone else in. They're not reaching out. They're not doing any of that. But yet still, they're holding on to you. And I think you know this. I think you know this. And I think you're ready to like um, talk to them. Because this silence is not doing either one of you any good. It's a thing. It's how you're feeling. Alright guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.